Uh, Marvel Avengers. You were saying there's big news about Marvel Avengers. Marvel Avengers is ending. <laughs> They're going yeah. out of business. They're going out of business. Grand everything, opening, grand closing. Everything must go. They're going to stop supporting the game. The game will still be playable. Oh my god. But That was so be... much money they spent. No more new characters. And on March 31st, the last day of the game, they are going to give away all the cosmetics for free. It's not the last day of the game. Well, the, the last, last day, day that they update the game. Yeah. Right. right. There will be one final update on March 31st. And with that update, all the cosmetics will be free. Do we see Hulk crying in that update? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you could instead of on, on the loading screen, instead of him just like clipping through everything, he's the crazy thing is there's a lot of skins they release for this game. I'm <laughs> sure that's where they hope to make money. Yeah, and it's gonna be. I mean, honestly, it's gonna be kind of cool to have them all. Of course. <laughs> I but, mean, you know, yeah, I, I mean, I, I mean they're I'm holding back. This, I'm happy yeah. with this news because I'll play it again when I can uh, when I can make we my Hulk look like afternoon. an asshole. We we'll play this afternoon, like. uh I I found the PS4, I don't know, super deluxe edition mm -hmm. at Target for I don't know, 20 25 bucks or something around that that price range that came with like all the statues and and yeah. It and Spider-Man because Dashiell's been playing it on Xbox this whole time and so like it's mind-blowing to go like and now you can play as Spider-Man like but you got to no start idea. over though. Yeah, but he just he doesn't care. He's playing the same levels over and over again, right? Like he's just same doing the shit same shit anyway, like, Brown. It's the same, right? Yeah, it's the same. That's he's playing the game the right way. Mm -hmm. You're just playing the same levels over and over again with different people. Um, it is so, funny yeah. how like the whole business model of the game is to, to basically create all these skins, like good skins that you hope people will pay for. A lot mm -hmm. create like so many of them because you basically only like a very small percentage of the people are buying them. And those people probably buy like a lot, <laughs> like not just one or two, they buy a lot. And then like, so you don't get enough people to play. So no one's buying the skin. Not enough people are buying the skins. So it, the game goes out of business for the, literally they held back content and it didn't, you know, add up and kept it at a premium price. People, you know, not enough people played the game. So the whole business model just collapsed. And now they're giving away all that stuff that they held back, it's, which is a positive. It's, it's for, awesome. For if for giving the, it away, right? They, they didn't need to do that. They could have said, like, "All right, we're turning they, off the game." Sure, I sure. I mean, they they intentionally released this game with ugly looking character models because they fully intended on selling better looking character models later. Yeah, and it's just like it failed. That 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 business model sucks. It fucking sucks in every game. Mm -hmm. it sucks i've been playing overwatch too like it's just i look through the skins they're 30 dollars each like i have never fucking do that pay 30 dollars for a skin you'll never get a fucking dollar out of me it's just it's all depressing it's all depressing i think maybe i don't know if that business model is coming to an end have we had enough big failures of that business model yet because we've had we've had a few recently like i feel like maybe like that's gonna end I, it really depends because again, change the, drastically the, games and service. The game has to be there, and I feel like that's the big missing piece. Sure, is a lot of these big companies, and you saw. I mean, you saw that with Anthem and the and all the postmortems you read about that. It, it's they're not focused on making a good game; they're focused on everything that that comes right. with the trappings of the live service. They want right. to sell the skins and the colors and the the trails and the the logos, and they want to sell all that. So that's what they're basing. They're they're creating that first, and basically the game second. Marvel's Avengers, the post game, the thing that was supposed to keep you playing, as you just said, it was just standing in brown and punching robots. <laughs> That's not enough to keep people coming back because once you stand in the brown and punch enough robots, you, it's like, okay, well, what else is there? You have to keep it going. It's why, you know, I complain about Fortnite now because they have consistently been the best at making the game feel new and relevant. And it's five years old. They didn't try to make Fortnite 2 like Overwatch did. They're just like, no, we're just here's our new island. I think Apex does the same thing. It's like, nope, just a new island. Now it's a new island. So you don't have the old. So that's Fortnite 2. 
you know, oh, we're moving, we're just going to move the whole game to a new engine. So it's going to look better than it's ever looked before. Right. You don't, you're not going to lose anything. We're not going to change anything, but we're making, we're going to make changes. So the game feels new because it's about the game first and the skins, not the skin second, because it's like, and the skins like one and a half. If the game, if the game is number one, the skins are, are one and a half, but still, at least they have the, I feel like the the priority needs to be right. It needs to be the game first and the sales second. And if the games are good, the sales will come. Oh, yeah. there you go. I, I spoke my piece. Rest in peace. Marketing uh, She-Hulk and <laughs> Captain Marvel, apparently. No, if you want to play, you want She-Hulk, you got to play Marvel Snap. <laughs> Which is another game that kind of actually does that the same way, but on the phone. Uh, what else? What are we playing? I bought a game since our last show. What? You never buy a game. I, I know. I paid, the I paid money. I paid money and I bought a game that was recommended to me by one of my co-hosts. Hmm. Not cheapy. Mm-mm. I don't like anything. I, no, I bought Rogue Legacy 2 because I enjoyed Rogue, Rogue Legacy 1. Mm-hmm. And I heard that the second one was more of that, but better. Mm-hmm. And that game is more of that, but better. And it's a lot of fun. And it's a great little, it's a great little game to play in short bursts. It was on sale. So I think it was on sale for like $18. And technically it was 20% off of that. Cause I used my Xbox credit. So I'm like, you know what? For 15 bucks. I will yeah, get you'll get your value out of that. I'll get my value exactly. I like the house rules. Mm-hmm. I like that if I want, you know, like I'll play if I want to play a couple of rounds normal and die a lot and and you know try to get some golden upgrade and then maybe I'll go on a tear and turn on the house rules just to see what else is there in the game because I'm bad at it. I like that that option is there. I like that I could do both. So and you don't really get punished for it. And the upgrades are fun, and the different types of characters are are cute, and the names and the the dumb abilities with the with, you know it's it's a game that doesn't take itself too seriously in a in a style of game a rogue style game which usually takes itself too seriously. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. glad you're enjoying it. I am. Thank you. I've been playing on Game Pass. I've been playing Death's Door. I don't know if either of you have ever played this. So game. That's the one where you play plays the crow. It is. I played some of that because people were really excited about it, and I don't know, it didn't grab me. Uh, it's pretty good. I, yeah. I I can see why you didn't stick with it. It's a little bit of a slow slow grind there, mm. and it's very I don't know. Uh, the combat and kind of the mechanics are very pattern based, and and scratch that itch for me of like, oh, I can figure out the patterns here and solve the puzzles and. And be use crow. my different combos and be a crow. Yeah. With a uh, sword. Or a, I, I have like a big uh, hammer axe thing now. He, yeah, I don't think I got past the weapons. first area. Jay Bizzletron in the chat says it gets great once you get past the first area. Yeah, yeah. It's, it still has slow parts. And there's parts that like, if you're not paying attention, you'll have to replay a significant amount of the game again because of the, the way you it dies and respawns enemies. It does keep like any doors or ladders that you've opened up to like get to the shortcuts after you die. So it's, it's forgiving. Um, there is some areas like I didn't play it for a couple nights and I had to like, go look, I'm like, where in the world am I supposed to be going after? I think I got that even in the first area. Like or maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just about done with it. It's not, too long of a game i don't think it seems Maybe. like it's right up your alley that yeah type of situation it's, it's it's good it's on game pass i like it i'm still playing overwatch 2 i'm playing comp 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 mode now like you know see where i rank up because i'm so good at lucio not that good but i'm trying to be good and i'm also and 30 dollars really, 30 dollars on any new skins I'm not buying i have all the good skins and i checked like they didn't even really add many I don't think they added new skins or not too many with Overwatch 2. Like I was expecting like a ton of new skins, but like it's the same old shit. It's weird. It's like they're not even trying to make money. But 
I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's the same tried and true Overwatch gameplay. When you know, like, you're going to play, if you want to play for 20 minutes, you know the match is going to take about 20 minutes. So <laughs> you can do that and then go do something else. Um, I thought that we had to talk about this, the woke Xbox stuff that's on Fox News. How, oh, I saw that. Yeah, you sent that to us in the in the chat. It's, yes. And that's just like... Oh, yeah. I did send that to you in the chat. <laughs> the complaint is that Microsoft has an option on the Xbox that you can check off so that it'll use minimal power when you're not using it and, like, do updates in the middle of the night or whatnot. And the people on Fox News who are saying that Microsoft is being political by teaching your kids about climate change or some shit like... Some fucking nonsense like that. Meanwhile, just fucking free advertising for Xbox. And it's I'm also sure that's not even fuck. what that's not even what the point of that of the energy saver mode is. To save it's you to money help. on electricity and your electricity your bill. Electric, yeah, it's to keep your electric bill down. I thought everyone knew that. It's amazing how they would spin that. To I I can't with these morons. The only thing worse than those morons are the morons that believe them. I feel like they must have a guy in the newsroom who's like, all right, we need like some story about how video games are bad. Just like come up with something. And people are pitching stuff like, oh, how about the uh, Xbox is woke now because it uh, teaches you about climate change. Just go on, run with it. Run with it. Meanwhile, I don't think it's that, that. That only helps Microsoft. And that's not what woke means anyway. That's not even what woke means. I don't know. It means that you care about. People, no. Right? Isn't it? No, it no. just means that it means that you recognize the existence of racial injustice. My Xbox yeah. doesn't recognize anything. Yeah, that's what that woke sure. means. So unless when you turn on your Xbox, it says it, it teaches you the history of slavery, hey, and Jim Crow, and, the, fuck out and the civil rights movement, and red line districts. Unless unless that happens when you turn on your Xbox, your Xbox isn't woke. That's where although, we're going first. Although it first would these be energy saving awesome modes to turn it on to be like, did you know that Long Island made their highways too <laughs> too narrow? So. Black people couldn't buy houses and commute to Long Island. Yes. And yeah. Because buses that game's coming to Game there? Pass soon, I heard. Yeah. Yeah. I would like that. The woke game. Woke well, history. then Fox can at least have something, you know, to, then they to can talk complain. about. Yeah. <laughs> now they're just making nonsense. Yeah. Anyway, it was funny. I thought so. 